Hi, Greg Hudson here from Jasper Soft Technical Support to provide a brief overview of Studio's Enhanced Properties feature which was added in 7.1. Prior to this feature, the UI looked similar to this table-like structure used for editing and editing properties. To make it easier to discover, configure, and use element properties in Studio, this new feature was added which displays all possible properties Let's you search for properties, like so. It shows you which properties have been edited if you click this button. So these are properties that have explicitly been edited. And it also gives you the ability to mouse over uh, various properties to find a description of that property. So all elements have, uh, as well as bends, have a set of common properties. So you'll see a lot of common properties when, when scrolling through um, this, this list or when searching through this list. Uh, but each property might have very specific uh, properties. I'm sorry, each element might have specific properties based on the element type. For example, I'm in an image element. So if I search for SVG, I'll find some SVG related properties. Conversely, if I search for something like cache, I don't find that, but if I switch into a subreport element, edit the properties, and I search for cache, I do see cache specific properties. Conversely, I don't see uh, an SVG related property. So depending on the type of element you're editing, <clears throat> you can access the properties from the Appearance tab, hitting Edit Properties, or sometimes you'll need to go through the Advanced tab and scroll to, uh, down to Miscellaneous and hit Edit Properties. When editing properties, you'll see indicators that tell you what type of value you uh, should be able to enter into the field for the property. For example, if we search for style, a handful of properties come back. You'll see in some cases you have color wheels that allow you to specify a value. In others, you have drop downs that dictate what values you could possibly choose. In others, you'll just see a form field. Uh, in the form field, you would be able to freehand your own exact value or use an expression. Additionally, the color wheels can also be used uh, as expression instead of the color wheel. If I do that, I can jump into my expression editor. Maybe I want to parameterize this and make it conditional. Uh, if this exists, make it blue. If not, give me red. Other items within the editor that might be interesting. Only if you added custom classes would be the plus button, which allows you to add uh, your own new property. Again, that's only, that's only applicable if you have custom classes. So, thanks for watching. We hope this helps you use properties more easily in the future.